Are you never sure what hashtags to use on Instagram to grow your reach? Are you afraid of being shadow banned or just of using useless hashtags and wasting your time? Then keep on watching because I'm gonna share with you some tips to make sure that you are using the right hashtags to grow on Instagram. Hey, I just wanted to let you know that today's video is sponsored by Kixus Hashtag Generator, a free tool for finding the perfect hashtags to help you grow your reach on Instagram. You can check it out now at the link in my description and sign up for Kixus service for 10% off with my affiliate link. Now you can get back to your video. Hey, if you are new here, my name is Katie Steckley and I'm a freelance videographer and podcast editor based in Canada. Here on my channel, I love to talk all things Instagram, YouTube, filmmaking, and freelance. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos. I upload three times a week. So let's dive into how to use hashtags the right way. Step one, make sure you come up with something specific. Far too often I see people on Instagram using hashtag selfie, hashtag girl, hashtag summer. All of these things are way too vague and to be honest, would you search them? When you think about using hashtags the right way, you want to be targeting terms that people are actually searching for and going to be browsing those hashtags. Like, have you ever gone to the explore page and searched girl? Probably not because it's just really vague and like what do you think you would find there? Like it's not gonna be that interesting. So that's why I would encourage you to come up with something really specific that is related to your photo so that for one, people who are looking for it are going to find it. And two, it's gonna be actually related to that. So like don't use a hashtag that is super specific but not actually connected to the content of your post. You really need the keyword to match up with what you are delivering so that you actually get better engagement and it doesn't just die out in hashtag world somewhere. So pick something specific. My second tip is to look for hashtags that are being actively used by specific communities. One of my favorite ones is hashtag no small creator. This is a hashtag on Instagram and on YouTube as well that was started by YouTube creator Cody Warner and there's a whole Facebook group around it. There's a lot of really active participants in this community. And so I love using this hashtag on my post because I know that I'm gonna be reaching the exact kind of people that I want to um, because they're people like me. So depending on what your niche is, I'm sure there is gonna be a community out there that is consistently using a hashtag that will fit with the content that you're creating. You just need to go looking for it. And I think this is a good example of an instance where you're actually gonna be more effective as a creator if you are a consumer first. So it's important to go out and consume the kind of content that you wanna create so that you can find those communities that you can serve. My third tip is to try some local hashtags. This is something that I think a lot of people don't think about, especially creators who are early in their process are thinking, I just wanna get out there, global reach, the internet is global, I can find people anywhere. But what you're missing is there's probably actually people in your own backyard that would be interested in what you are doing, but you're just forgetting to try to reach them. This is especially effective if you live in a small to medium sized city because it means that you're gonna be a bigger fish in a small pond. Just look up your city on Instagram, go through the location tag, see if you find anybody using hashtags that are specific to your city. And you can find some really great options for building community locally and just reaching out uh, to people who might be interested in seeing the kind of stuff you're doing. A big problem that a lot of people face with hashtags is just that there are so many options out there. It can be kind of hard to narrow your search and figure out what you actually want to include. So I'm excited today to share with you this really awesome solution that I would definitely recommend you try out and that is Kixta's hashtag generator. This is a totally free tool. You can go check it out at the first link in the description. Literally all you have to do is go to that page, enter in a keyword and it will automatically come up with a ton of really awesome hashtags that you can use on your Instagram post. I tested it out with a couple of my favorite hashtags to use and it automatically populated with a bunch of tags that honestly I'm already familiar with and have already been using because I have done so much research into what hashtags are gonna be the most effective for me. But if you haven't already done that, then this tool is gonna to be great for delivering you some really good options. So I can tell you from my experience, the hashtags that it's coming up with are actually good options, effective. They're not just randomly generated keywords. These are existing hashtags that people are using and where you're gonna find active users. Try throwing in some keywords that someone might search to find you. Maybe it's photographer, maybe it's podcaster, maybe it is artist. Whatever it is, try throwing those words in there and you'll find a bunch of awesome 
hashtag suggestions that you can use to grow the reach of each and every one of your Instagram posts. After you've used the hashtag generator, you can head to the other link in my description to get 10% off of Kixta's services. You can check all the information out in the description, but I would highly recommend using that hashtag generator because it is going to help you a lot and take away all the responsibility of doing a ton of research like I did initially to find good effective hashtags. My fourth tip for writing effective hashtags is to check out how many posts is in that hashtag before you use it. Thankfully on Instagram, if you type in a hashtag, it'll automatically pop up the number of posts there so you can determine whether or not it's gonna be effective for you. If you are a smaller account like me, there's really not gonna be a huge use in posting to hashtags that have a million or more posts. It's simply gonna get lost in the flow of new posts and you're really not gonna have much of a hope of showing up in that top posts category. However, if you look for hashtags with just a few thousand posts in them, you're gonna have a way better chance of ranking in the top post section and also just of finding people who are scrolling through that just like aren't exhausted by the amount of content. So make sure you look for hashtags that have that sweet spot number of posts. You don't wanna look for something that only has like 100 posts because it's probably gonna be like somebody's wedding hashtag. Like it's not likely to be an active community. So look for something I would say that ranges from maybe like 5,000 to like 50,000 posts. I know that's a big range, but like somewhere in there is probably a safe zone for you to be using that hashtag and expecting engagement from it. Finally, something you should know about hashtags is that you can use up to 30 of them in every Instagram post that I would recommend using as many as you can. I mean, I don't think that you should fill in up to 30 by using hashtags that have millions of posts or that are generic, etc. But if you can think of 30 hashtags that actually fit the parameters that I've talked about in this video, then you might as well use them all. A lot of people are worried about being shadow banned or about appearing spammy and then like not showing up in feeds and stuff like that. But the reality is Instagram allows you to use 30 hashtags. So that's how many you can post. I would say that the whole shadow banning thing is a pretty conspiracy theory type thing. Like there's not really proof that that happens. So I wouldn't worry about being like kicked out of a certain hashtag though. Um, I would also recommend trying to cycle through hashtags. So like if you're using the exact same ones every single time, yeah, maybe you'll show up there. But I think actually there's a lot of different hashtags out there and you might as well experiment, try out some different ones, keep things fresh. Um, not because you're gonna appear spammy or get shadow banned or whatever, but just because you might as well try different hashtags instead of limiting yourself to the same 30 every time because you're gonna have a better chance of reaching a wider audience if you keep on experimenting and keep on trying out new hashtags. So those are all the tips that I wanted to share with you today. Remember, you can check out that free hashtag generator at the link in the description. Thanks again to Kickstuff for sponsoring this video. If you wanna know more about how you can grow your engagement on Instagram, make sure you check out this video. But before you go, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos. Like I said, I post three new videos a week and I wouldn't want you to miss them. So as always, I hope that you are having adventures and following your dreams and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.